Assalamu alaikum, brother. As a Muslim, personally, I want to ask you this question. In the current socio-political, theological climate of stark black and white prevalent in the world today, I find it extremely difficult to endorse any faction or even my own notions of right and wrong. Ruling out the validity of the prejudice, it is an accepted norm today that it is the followers of the faith who reflect the faith itself. Assuming such an argument, how can I make a stand? How can I preserve the solidarity of my faith when there is a basic conflict of opinion between me and my Islamic peers? As an individual, would you personally endorse the stand of a Saddam Hussein, the passion of a Mujahideen fighter, or the death of a Palestinian suicide bomber? The sister asked the question that seeing the conflicting views and ideas, she doesn't know where she fits in, who should she agree with, who should she not agree with, what should she say. She's asking the question that, do I agree with what's happening, the Palestinian Mujahideens, what's happening about Saddam Hussein, etc. Sister, as I told you, many a time these issues are political. What I say, that everything has a hidden agenda and because I keep on traveling a lot, and again, right or wrong, Allah alam, I can't say this is the thing. But mainly the cause are a few selected people and the politicians. Again, the politicians. For political reasons, they make someone the scapegoat, and that's the reason they want to see to it that the ulterior motives have been solved. Me, as a Muslim, if you ask me, that what should I say if someone asks me? I can only speak the truth. If someone has caused them harm, if someone has murdered them, etc., etc. In this way, if they retaliate, it's allowed. Otherwise, they cannot. You ask me what's happening about a particular individual case, Osama bin Laden or Saddam Hussein, I say, I don't know the background. I cannot give a fatwa. I can't give a verdict on them because I haven't interviewed them. For me to give my opinion, I have to interview them. So what I say, Allah, Allah, Allah knows best. Allah will not ask me on the day of judgment, is Osama bin Laden a terrorist or not? I will tell that if he has done wrong, if he has broken the guidelines of Quran and Sunnah, he is wrong. If he hasn't broken, he is good. That is not my basis to pass the examination. What I have to read? I have to read the Quran. I have to read the scripture. This question can be dealt with those who are experts who keep on traveling to Afghanistan, taking interview, etc. And we find such coming in the paper, etc. You as a Muslim, me as a Muslim, Allah will not, Almighty God will not ask us the question of dear judgment that do you agree Saddam Hussein is a terrorist or not? We have to say Allah alam. We don't know. Neither do we support them, neither do we condemn them. If there's solid proof of a particular person, of a particular Muslim who has done an act which is proven to be against the Quran, then we have to condemn him. But if there's no proof, which is substantial proof, we have to remain neutral. That's what Quran says. And your faith has into to shake, sister. Your faith should be based on the truth which is mentioned in the scripture. The best way to see to it that the faith is reinforced is to read the Quran. You will not find any defect in the Quran. You will not find any contradiction in the Quran. <laughs> if a person doesn't understand Arabic as a language, you have to read the translation of this book. This is the translation by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and the translation is available outside in the foyer. That sister, if you read how to lead a life based on the Quran, inshallah, faith will become strong. And believe me, you will not feel shy at all to practice any of the fundamentals of Islam if you know the reason and logic why these fundamentals have been prescribed. If you know that, believe me, I keep on traveling in different parts of the world. I mean, I speak, I go with this cap, I have a beard, I go to different Western countries, never have I faced a problem. Sometimes query, inquiry is there, but never is a problem. I mean, why should I get scared to speak the truth? So if you have knowledge of the scripture and you know the reason and logic, you will feel proud. Even you too will call yourself like me. You will also call yourself a Muslim fundamentalist.